before we get a better understanding of a binomial theory or expansion so let's understand this simple concept here now uh, assuming we want to buy uh, an iPhone right that costs just uh, five dollars right? this is just an assumption and then we want to buy five pieces of uh, that iPhone so what it means is that we are going to buy one two three four five right so in all we are spending what twenty five dollars for what five pieces of what an iPhone here now for us to break this thing down we can <coughs> we can easily use what uh, uh, this method here that says that uh, uh, five dollars or squared so the meaning of this square here is what five times five right so the meaning of this square is what five times five which also gives us what uh, 25 dollars here right for us to avoid this long method here is that okay now if you don't want to buy a handful but you want to buy a different item or a gadget here this is what x so we are calling it x here because we have so many different types of what a product so someone might want to buy what a different what a, a product so let's make it a square so x square here means what s multiplied by what x right so the same scenario here okay now now you go to the market you want to buy two different products so let's say iphone and what and a, a laptop is that okay so you are buying these two things at the same time so if you want to buy these two two pieces of what this item here is that so you are going to square that so meaning that's what s plus what y here so x is the uh, iphone and the y is what is the laptop here squared means so we are going to what, multiply that by two right so we are going to expand that into a two form just like in the case of uh, this guy here right so in the case of this guy here now now the, the, the idea is that this is just a square right this is just a square so if i tell you that this is just a five dollars and this is also what let's say four dollars here you can easily find the two pieces is that okay you can easily find out two pieces now what will happen if you want to buy seven pieces ten pieces hundred pieces in all right so maybe you are going to open a shop what do you do that is where you need what a, a binomial theory is that okay so that is where you need what a binomial theory or a spatial so how do you use that there's a trick here a method here that is called a pascal triangle i will demonstrate that in the next video is that okay so you have to use a pascal triangle to do that so if this is being raised to the power into seven so you are going to buy this in how many times seven times so if here is what 10 here is 20 here is 100 then you, you cannot expand it in this way right you cannot expand that in this way that is why you need what, uh, something called a binomial expansion or binomial theory so the one method is what a pascal triangle and then we will do that in what in the next theory so thank you for watching